Hi, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can integrate MCBO on servlets with Crew AI. Crew AI is an awesome multi agent framework that allows you to arrange your agents in a crew or a team. And you can give each agent a background, a specialty, and you can assign different tasks to different agents. So, as a prerequisite, you need Python, Crew AI, and UV installed on your system. And Crew AI has an excellent installation page on their documentation website. We are going to use OpenAI uh, O3 model, but you can use whatever model that you like. Um, you also need a GitHub account for m 3one authentication, and you would need a WordPress blog. So you can either use a free blog posted on WordPress.com, or you can run one locally using Docker, just like mine. If you are running it on Docker, make sure that you have set WP environment type to local in wp.config.php. Otherwise, application passwords would not be available. So to set things up, if you have installed the MCPX client on your machine, you don't need this step. If you have not installed it, then you can run this command, which gives you a session ID that you can store in this environment variable. After that, we need to install the WordPress tool on mcp.run, um, which you can do through this button. I have already done that. And you have to configure that. So if you, ha you are not, if you are not uh, hosting your site on wordpress.com, then you can say yes to on-prem. You give it your username, your application password, and if you are running it locally or anywhere else besides the wordpress.com, your application password is at wp-admin slash profile. And then uh, there's a section in the bottom called application passwords. And then the website URL is just your WordPress URL. If you are hosting on wordpress.com, then you need to create an application at developer.wordpress.com. And you also need to give the WordPress servlet access to your uh, website's domain name. Okay, now that uh, all of that is done, we can go ahead and uh, start on the fun part. So I'm just going to use the Crew AI CLI to create a new crew called Awesome Zoo Blogging. So this AI crew is responsible for managing our favorite zoo's uh, WordPress blog. So I'm going to say one for OpenAI, and then I'm going to say two for GPT-40. It asks for our Open API key. I'm going to provide this off the screen. So I'm going to just skip that for now. And then I'm going to open this in Visual Studio. You can go to the .env file and fill in the open API key if you haven't already. I'm going to do that off the screen. OK, now that this one is over, uh, you need to go into the myPyproject.toml file and make sure that you are asking for a version 3.12 at least of Python. And then we can go ahead and add mspxpy. Okay, now that this one is done, we can create a wrapper tool for our MCP tools. So the cool thing about Crew AI is that it lets you define your own custom tools. And what we are going to do is create a MCP tool class, which extends the Crew AI's base tool class. And this basically is just a wrapper. When you call the run function, it's going to take the input, call the MCP servlet tool by using the MCPX Pi client, and then return the output. And we also have a function go called get MCP run tools, which goes through the list of installed tools in your uh, default profile, and then returns all of them wrapped in the MCP run tool class. So I'm just going to copy all of that. And then I'm going to go to source tools. 
mspxtools.py and then we're going to paste that. Okay, uh, make sure you are selecting the right interpreter here and let's go ahead and define our agents. So the cool thing about Croya is that it allows you to, to define your agents and tasks declaratively as well as you can also do, do it in Python if you like. Uh, so I'm gonna come to here and then as you can see we have two agents, a zookeeper which is responsible for coming up with daily stories and a social media manager which is responsible for taking these stories and posting them as a blog post on our, on our WordPress website. I'm going to do the same thing for the tasks. And we have two tasks. One of them is writing interesting stories and we have assigned that to Zookeeper agent. And the other is publishing the blog posts. And uh, we have assigned that to, to the social media manager. After this is done, we bring all of that together in the crew.py file. As you can see, we are calling the get mcp run tools function to get all of the available tools in, in our default profile on mcp run. And we are giving all of the all of those tools, including the WordPress tools, to the social media manager agent. In the future, we are gonna support different profiles. So you can create different profiles for different agents. This way you can give each agent a set of tools that is tailored to their needs. Cool, so the next step would be to just run the crew. Okay, while the crew is running, we can go back to the WordPress website and visit the site. And as you can see, there's no blog post here yet. Uh, this is a brand new website. Uh, and the crew is responsible for writing our first um, post about our zoo. Okay, so the zookeeper agent is running and it's trying to come up with different stories. So it has given us five stories about each about the different animals and in the social media manager we have asked it specifically to check the recent posts to avoid duplication so it's smart enough to know that it needs to call the wp post list task or tool on the wordpress servlet so we have got another reply from wordpress and it has decided that okay this post is not a duplicate of anything recent so it, it's going to go ahead and uh, call the WP post create tool to create a new article. And this is the final answer. And uh, it has successfully created the first blog post. If we go ahead and check the website now, you can see that it has indeed created a new blog post, just as we asked. So this is a very simple scenario. You can imagine by giving your agents access to all the tools available on MCP Run, you can unlock complicated scenarios in a very safe manner because all of these tools are compiled to WASM and they only have access to the resources that you explicitly give them access to. Thank you very much.